Hi everyone, Kevin at Bear Creek Honey. So it's uh, about 41 degrees outside on this uh, Friday morning, March 29th. And uh, I'm doing a little work on this hive today. I'm gonna be transferring it over um, to, uh, to my German hive bottom and adding a, adding a, uh, a deep, another deep hive body to it. Uh, with some uh, leftover honey to it, but uh, when I was, uh, I, I took off the, the insulation, the wrap, and um, and this hive actually has a screen bottom, but uh, it was, um, but I, I closed it off, and it also, I installed the IPM board uh, on the back side of it, and uh, I just pulled it out, and I figured I'd take a look and see if I could see any, um, see if I could see any uh, Varroa on here and um, what I did find was actually very very surprising and now uh, I don't know where they went but oh here they are this is what really really surprised me right there you can see that right there right there right there right there I think that those are uh, wax moth larvae, and when when I first pulled it out, these were they, they were squirreling around, and uh, and um, and actually you can see them all over here. Now this is a very very active hive, and we can see look at all that wax moth larvae um, all the way down here. And this is what happens um, in a hive. But this is, like I said, it's a very, very active hive. But uh, surprisingly enough, um, the wax moths are down on this IPM board. Um, some of them are, are dead. I can see some here. Um, I see one. I see. I see one varroa right there, actually, at the end of my finger. Actually, if you can see that, that's one. That's the first varroa I've seen in all this mess. But it's a good idea just to take a look and see what kind of um, what kind of mess you got going on in in your hive. What you got going on in your hive. The good news is, like I said, I see very, very. That's the only varroa that I've I've spotted so far on this board. That's a that's a very, very healthy sign. I don't didn't like the idea that uh, that I got wax moss. But uh, yeah, there it is right there. I think that that's a wax moth larvae. Um, that was the first time I've ever seen anything like that on here. But but uh, now I got to get in, scrape this out. Hopefully that they're not into the uh, the brood box itself. So I'll have to check that out here at a later when I when I move this over. I'll do another video today. Um, Anyways, here's some more. They're alive and well, and even though it's 46 degrees, they were alive inside on this bottom IPM board. But uh, the really good news is, I think the reason that this hive is so successful um, is that, like I said, I, I've seen one mite on this whole bottom board for all winter long that's that's pretty good and all this is is you can see it's all chewed up uh, um, from pollen patty yeah, that's the paper that's rolled balled up in there sugar and I, I have a funny feeling that uh, the wax moths are actually eating on that stuff too so Interesting, interesting, interesting. So I'm going to take this off to my fire pit and scrape this down and uh, and put it back. Still a little cold uh, to leave it screen bottom, I think. <laughs> 